Canadian singer-songwriter Candle has just released her long-awaited sophomore album, a record she says has been nearly three years in the making. I'm hiding in the arms of broken boys Cause they don't know how to love me You gave me no choice This album is called Holy Smoke and we're very excited to welcome Candle to our studio this morning. Good to have you with us. Thanks for having me. I know it's an early one for you. Yep. You were telling yep. me that you went to bed when I woke up this that morning. That was a secret, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> Uh, how good does it finally feel to have this album out? It feels so good. I was reaching a point where I thought it would never come out. Mm. <laughs> you've, you've I was just gonna throw it away. You've also said you have enough content, not only for this album, but for two more albums. What was going on in your life during that writing process that you have so much content? Um, I mean, I, I always write pretty frequently. I, I, whenever I have an idea, I write a song. And unfortunately, the business side of things, it took a long time to catch <laughs> up with me, so. Even with the first record, I had this one written five years ago. Wow. And so I have like a whole backlog of albums waiting to happen. When you have that big a catalog, how do you choose which ones to put out on your important album? So far, I send songs to my sister, <laughs> but I think it's a terrible idea. Sometimes she just answers like horrible, and then we get in a huge fight. <laughs> but she's like supposed to be my most trusted ally, and she claims she made me cool. She's lying. You disagree. Yeah. Um, you have a lot of very personal songs on this album, songs about breakup. Uh, there's songs that allude to the Me Too movement, which we'll talk about in a minute. But those songs, those really real, raw songs about breakup, do you find them difficult or healing to perform, to keep reliving that over and over? The, sometimes I almost start crying when I play it, and I don't think I've ever written heartbreak songs before, and I guess I'd never really had my heart broken before. And it was the only thing I knew how to do to, to deal with the hurt was to write about it. To write it out. And next thing I know, it's on the record. And next thing I know, it's in the set list. So I have no choice but to kind of relive it. But it turns something like really painful into something I'm proud of. So it's an appropriate way to deal with hurt. One of your other songs, Nobody Wants You Now, uh, relates strongly to the Me Too movement. Did that movement inspire this song? Uh, this, I wrote that like three years before hmm. the movement. Right. So it feels so good to finally get that out because this was an issue, I mean, I've seen my whole life that I've dealt with. And, and I remember having finished the song when like the Gomeshi trial was going on and mm -hmm. when Bill Cosby and all that was starting to happen. And I wanted to release the song so badly, but it took till now and it's an issue. I think I'm so happy is finally public and being, attempting to be dealt with. You have said before that you love to do music videos. I love the music video that we showed. You've got the pink camper. Um, <laughs> recently, however, you starred in a video for someone else with Jack White. How did that happen? It was very random. I was uh, in LA playing some shows and a director I met once at a party called me and asked if I could play an assassin in Nashville in a Jack White video the next day. I thought yes. he was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I told him I wasn't an actress and he thought I looked violent. <laughs> so. Okay. Let's talk about the violence because you worked with what's known as a kill coach yes. to become an assassin. What is a kill coach? Uh, he has to train me to make murders look real. So wow. he's like, oh no, like when you stab someone like that, they wouldn't actually die. You need to do it more like this. And when you shoot someone, they don't bleed that much. So you gotta be careful here. This is a proper chokehold. You gotta make this or they're still gonna breathe after. What? And I was in love. So yeah. <laughs> So you're a fully trained assassin, at least for music videos. Yeah. Well done, you. Thank you. Uh, your dad, of course, frontman for 5440. What advice has he given you about working in the music industry? Because gender plays a big role in the music industry. You know, you, you write and you talk about mm -hmm. that. Um, what advice did he give you? He just constantly warns me and says the music industry is vicious and it's sexist and it's cruel and and most of it is luck. So he, he always, whenever something bad happens or something I'm upset about. He's like, yeah, that's what it is. So mm. you have to really love music to do this, and you do. So you have no choice but to continue. <laughs> Great advice. And you have continued. Holy smoke. Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, out right now. Candle, thanks for coming into our Thank studio. Thank you for having me.